What if I told you you can get a higher SAT score with less study? What? What? That's where these three AI tools that I'm going to show you in this video can be used to make yourself a more efficient studier and get a higher SAT score with less time spent studying. See, for years, students have spent countless hours studying just to get an okay score on the SAT. But now with AI, you not only have to study less, but you can get a higher score at a much faster rate. First things first, the new Khan Academy. Whoa, 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 what do you mean by this? Khan Academy has been my personal favorite resource for as long as I've been teaching the SAT, right? I recommend all SAT test takers even today i do recommend SAT digital test takers take the khan academy practices the passages all the questions because there's a lot of them and the more practice you do the better you are at any SAT paper or digital but now there's a new uh, platform that is geared for digital SAT test takers and that's my personal favorite i even partner with them that's learnq.ai there's multiple reasons why i do like it and one thing is it has six mock digital SAT exams that college board doesn't even give you college board gives you digital SAT exams but these questions are predetermined and if you know anything about digital SAT you know that the module 2 for the math and reading section is adaptive but depending on how good you do on the module 1 your module 2 can be way harder than your friends or way easier than your friends and it's hard to reflect that with a digital SAT that's a PDF but luckily LearnQ.ai actually has these mock exams that change the questions difficulty based on how well you do on module 1 exactly how the real digital SAT works and that's something that helps me as a SAT tutor see how good my students are doing of course it has a bunch of practice problems like Khan Academy but it's more gamified so it makes practicing a little more fun and enjoyable because i know a lot of students just hate you know constantly doing the same problems over and over again but you know different names different words and just like problem choices there's no like intrinsic reward or extrinsic reward luckily like with this gamified format of sat problem it makes like practicing a little more fun because at the end of the day guys let's be honest studying is boring right we're all gonna hate it no matter what platform it is whether chucky is doing it whether barney is doing it we're gonna hate studying but at the end of the day if you can make it a little more enjoyable why not and my favorite feature is a predicted sat score so depending on how well you do in these like SAT games, SAT problems, these mock exams, the platform actually gives you a projected digital SAT score that is pretty accurate. In fact, like eight out of the last 10 students got their projected SAT score plus or minus 10. And the other two got their projected SAT score plus or minus 30. So within like a 60 point range, your SAT score is actually predicted. And that's a great thing for you guys because you can literally see, all right, it looks like I'm headed to a 1450. I'm headed to a 1480. I want to get to a 1550. Let me practice a little more. Oh shoot. Now let's say I'm going to 1550 so you can really assess where you are in your digital st turn uh now this is 75 dollars which you know obviously i would love for it to be free but luckily i have a 10 percent code off because i did partner with them just for you guys now here's a free resource anki is a platform that allows you to practice flashcards efficiently if you have st vocabulary flashcards or st words that appear a lot in the sat you can use flashcards to study them the best part about what anki does is that it has smart studying so concepts you miss more those flashcards will appear more frequently and concepts that you get right will appear less that way it drills the concepts you're weak at into your brain and the concepts you're already strong at why more do they need to drill that into your brain so whether it be st vocabulary mastering st math tricks some mental math fast facts like you know if it gives you a quadratic you want to factor as fast as possible um some grammar rules these are all things you can put on flashcards and continuously study them again and again and with anki it's free and you're not paying any i don't want to hear any excuses if you're a student who just doesn't like flashcards then sure you know you don't have to use something like this but if you are a student who likes flashcards or even you never try flashcards you might want to try it i highly recommend recommend using Anki because it will make sure you are practicing the concepts you are weak at more than the concepts you're strong at but you will still practice all concepts the best way to create a solid understanding of whatever ST concept you put on your flashcard now the next resource is chat GPT and GPT4 I do know GPT4 obviously costs like $20 a month and chat GPT is completely free so you can use either resource GPT4 is a little more accurate it has a better understanding of the human language it's just better it's more advanced version but GPT3 GPT is perfectly fine as well what you can use it for is you know multiple Thing. One thing is you can have customized study plans. You see, you can tell GPT or chat GPT, hey, I have one month left or I have two weeks left. I need you to create a study plan that can get my 1200 to a 1550 and it will create a personalized study plan for you. And if you don't like it, if you want to change certain things, you can literally tell it, hey, you're saying to study math only, but I want to study reading more. It can switch that study plan up so that there's more reading days versus more math days. You can literally make it as personal as possible. You can say, hey, I want to practice more non-calc or calculator and then it could change the study plan more for that so there's more non-calculator practice there's just a bunch of ways you can really use gpt4 to make your study plan like the best possible study plan you can have and now you can also have customized st reading passage problems if you tell chat gpt to make a st science reading pass and as well as five multiple choice corresponding to the pass it will do it and the questions are pretty good i've literally tried it myself and use this to you know help uh, tutor students you can use gpt4 to create passages and associated questions and you can like answer them and continuously practice this way if you run out of passages on Khan Academy, you run out of passages on the digital sat you can 
can now make passages that are customized. You've told GPT, hey, make this passage about fire and like phoenixes. And as you know, GPT-4 makes a passage about fire and phoenixes. And you're not only enjoying this passage, enjoying studying, but you can actually get some good reps in, get some good practice in, and actually make sure you're headed for your goal score. You can also make a customized ST writing questions, just like how you can ask GPT-4 to make some comprehension questions, make passages based on that. You can tell it to make passages for writing questions, and it was going to ask you for, you know, colon questions and semicolon questions and dash questions. And you can tell it to tell you all the grammar rules, even. It'll tell you some good grammar rules to know, or how to make your college essay better, how to answer these ST writing questions better by getting more practice in. And lastly, it can make custom math word problems, because a lot of students struggle, especially when it comes to math word problems. It's usually like a question that just asks about the equation itself. It's pretty easy for them, you know, the square both sides, divide, multiply. When it comes to word problems and like getting the useful information out of the word problems, students start uh, overthinking things and sometimes get confused and sometimes are reading the stuff that doesn't matter, like the fluff, a little too closely. So practicing that type of problem as much as possible, which can be sometimes hard to find on the internet, you can ask GPT-4 to create these problems for you. Create these word problems, these custom math word problems, and you can also ask it, how would you solve it? So after you solve it, you can see how literally GPT-4 OpenAI technology will solve it and compare your weight. See if you're faster. Again, GPT-4 is perfect, so you might even be faster than the AI. And if you're at that level, then you're a genius. Like you're like Elon Musk. So you want to be smarter when you study and you want to use AI, this whole AI revolution that's going on as an advantage to spend less time studying and still get the high as possible score that you can get on the SAT. And it's very doable. And these technologies are very viable. In fact, I want you to comment down below if you've ever used AI technology to help you study for any exam, SAT, MCAT, your AP exam, whatever. Thank you all for watching. And I do have a lot of resources that can help you in the description below. Just at learnq.ai links, coupon codes, courses. So thank you all for watching. Check those out. Peace.